How's it going everybody? Happy New Year. It is January 3rd and what I'm going to do is uh, do a December 2021 Merch by Amazon uh, sales update. We'll go over the sales numbers, royalties and, and then discuss certain interesting uh, you know things that have come up as I was kind of preparing for this uh, review. So there's uh, there's actually a lot of interesting information that came uh, out of this and you guys will, will see some of it. It's uh, actually let's get into it. let's let's get into these numbers and I'll talk about this. This is my these are my US sales. So total number of sales 166. It looks like it was uh, 168 two cancellations and then 15 returns. This is a, a nice chunk of returns. A total uh, amount earned is two thousand eight hundred and ninety three dollars and fourteen cents as you can see here for the total amount in royalties of four hundred dollars four hundred and nineteen dollars and sixty eight cents now that in itself is actually the second worst month of the year so let's actually uh, look at that here I was uh, I was looking for a creative uh, YouTube video title and as you can see uh, it is not the worst month of the year in the US I have to I have to be very very specific with that because and we'll, we'll get into this in a second even though this is the second worst month of the year in the US it is actually uh, one of the better months in total and that's I'm going to go over that in a second total number of sales 275 as you can see here 166 that we discussed in the US UK 30 sales no returns Germany 25 France 15 Italy 7 Spain 7 Japan 25 for the total amount in royalties of 700 88 dollars and 78 cents so this is now a different story because the difference is so significant as as you can see here uh, you know I've gone from 166 to 275 that is a hundred over almost 110 uh, sales in other marketplaces which uh, the, the ratio for me has never been this close between US sales and other marketplaces but that ratio right now is so close because my US sales have been terrible and then other marketplaces have just simply picked up uh, all the slack because uh, it, it was December so I did get a bit of a spike in sales uh, in other marketplaces but but that completely crashed in the US and uh, so let's look at the total numbers because I wanted to as I was uh, kind of comparing I was looking at where I stand uh, overall because you know we, we like to look at US sales as as our main source of income which always is uh, but when something like this happens and and then you know I'm still able to pull in eight hundred dollars in royalties well you know I, I want to compare some numbers so let's let's look at this this is here this is 226 and this is for the month of April so even though for example my US sales were 193 my total overall sales were 50 less than my curtain my December uh, total sales so like I said if we're looking at this chart here the US sales are second worst of the year of the entire year but this total beats April let's look at May May 2021 227 sales again much higher US sales but lower international sales and again which brings me much much lower than my current month or, or December last month let's look at June June 2021 251 look at this this is significantly more again US sales but my total sales are lower than December and then let's look at 
uh, this would be July. So July, again, same thing. So I, I actually didn't go through the whole year because there were, there were a few months where it's clear that I didn't do better. Uh, but it looks like uh, for the majority of the year, I did better last month than, than like I said, more than six, seven months of, of the entire year, even though I had the second worst month of the year in the US. So what is that? What, how does that make me feel? It makes me feel very happy because again, this is what it's all about. I have a $800 deposit, uh, you know, coming, coming in at the end of the month. But on the other side of that, this is just terrible. This is terrible. This was unexpected. Uh, I'm still kind of even, you know, uh, trying to figure out what to do. I, I think a strategy needs to be adjusted. And, and I have a number of reasons, you know, why my sales have dropped uh, and, and that needs to be addressed. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm kind of just going to start wrapping it up here because I, I'm, I want to do another video tomorrow and, and basically do a year in review uh, because, you know, it was a very interesting year, as you guys can see here, you know, starting in November of 2020, which is basically just uh, in time for 2021. My sales have on average doubled from the previous year. So in, in that sense, it was, it was incredible growth. Now, it doesn't matter what you think about these numbers. Uh, if you think that they're amazing, for example, if, you, if you're in tier 10 or if you're maybe you know, in, in tier 500 and doing much, much better than I am, it doesn't matter because the numbers of their own are incredible compared to 2020 and going back they're even much, much better than uh, 2019, which was kind of like the peak, like this, this was like the peak of my account, end of 2018, beginning of 2019. So that's kind of where I am. Uh, overall, since we're talking about December specifically, uh, $275, terrible US sales, uh, everywhere else did okay for the total royalties of 788, 78, so overall, I'm extremely happy. Uh, it's 2022. I, I, you know, I wonder if I'm going to be able to double all these sales. I don't know. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. But, but again, we have the new format of, uh, of, uh, of merch. You know, with the number of of products versus number of designs, and uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.